Hi, South Point friends. Mr. Joe here from South Point Elementary. Um, hey, parents, I just wanted to take a few moments to go over some resources that your Kidman team here at South Point are posting on a weekly basis to help you as parents succeed. So I'm going to um, go over two websites that we've created specifically for you and your kids to help you have a great Sunday experience and a great experience throughout the week. So first, let me share my screen here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my web browser. And when you're in your web browser, you wanna to go to https slash slash southpointforyou.com slash parents. Now parents, this is the resource where we're hanging um, all kinds of information, um, not only for Sunday morning experiences, but just if you have some questions in general um, on how to disciple your kids. So you can find lots of resources here. So once that comes up, um, let's review what's out here for you. Here you'll find where we are posting our weekly videos, a link to the page where we post our weekly videos for both pre-K and elementary. Um, you'll find links to our Facebook page and our parent groups from a Kidman perspective. And parents, if you're not a part of one of our parent groups, we'd um, really highly encourage you to attend or I mean to um, go ahead and sign up, join the parent group. That way you you get the latest information because we try to post any news or events right directly to those parent groups. There's also a link to the South Point Students Facebook page where you can keep up with what the student ministry is doing. And then there's also a link down here to the Parent Q website. Um, this is a website that is constantly putting out tips and tricks to help you as a parent not only be a better parent from a parenting pure parenting perspective but also how to better disciple your kid and to help them grow in their faith um, parents we really truly uh, believe it's a partnership between you and us and that's why we have partnered with the parent q app to help you in that partnership the one place I definitely want to spend some time on is this handouts and questions area. Um, this is where you will find things to help your Sunday experience with your kids. So let's go here. And this actually takes us to a um, file share area. And you'll see that there's two folders here, one for elementary and one for preschool. So let's go into the preschool one and we'll see what's out there available on a weekly basis for you. Um, these lesson activity pages. Let's click into that one. The lesson activity pages, you will find the handouts to help you do an activity with your child after reviewing the weekly lesson. Um, so every week we will put these out here. You can see they are um, by date and what week of the month it is. So if we're currently in week one of August, you would wanna look for the 2802, cause that was the Sunday date and August week one. And then you just, you can pop that up and that'll give you some activity ideas on what to do and how to make that Sunday experience a little deeper for your kid. Let's go back out to the preschool website, Parent Q. This is the little bit of more information for you as a parent. It'll give you a little bit deeper dive into what we're talking about that Sunday. So let's go ahead and pull up a Parent Q app here. I mean, Parent Q page. And you can see it gives you what our theme is, what our memory verse is, and what we actually talked about in the video that your child watched this week. And then it gives you just some ideas on some things throughout the week you might do or say. And it also, a lot of times on this side will be an article or just something to help you as a parent grow. Let's back out of this. Okay, so let's go back to the preschool one. And then the placemat. Here we are putting in the file for the placemat that the kids get every week. Unfortunately, we can't hand those out every week to you, but if you'd like to, um, Download this and print this out so your kids can color on it. Um, that's why we're putting it out here for you. Now let's go to the elementary folder here. Okay, in the elementary folder, you'll find the guide time cards. 
these are the activity sheets, the little Bible devotionals um, for each week for your child. So if we look at the second and third grades, and they are broken out by grades, um, and we'll go pull up this week's. And here it is, just four days of short Bible devotionals or little activities that your kids can do to help them grow closer to Jesus um, and increase their Bible knowledge. Here again, these can be downloaded and printed or just downloaded and viewed on your computer. Go back up here to elementary. Um, lesson activity pages is laid out the same way as we talked about in preschool. And these are the activities um, needed for your kids or provided for your kids so that you can do just short, simple, fun things to just reinforce the Bible story they heard this week. Um, and there's ones for our kindergartners through third grades, and there's a slightly different one for our fourth and fifth graders. Back under elementary again, the monthly memory verse, we're placing the monthly memory verse out here. Um, so you can help your kids learn that monthly memory verse. Um, and we will keep this as a rolling thing. We will keep adding to this. So if you ever wanted to go back and say, oh, I'd like my kid to learn some Bible verses, there will be, um, as we put more and more out here, there will be more and more out here for that. There's also the parent queue, just like we talked about for pre-K. Um, we put one out here for our kindergartners through third grade and our preteens through fifth grade. Here again, this is just a, uh, short one page thing every week to help you as a parent know what we're talking about and gives you some ideas on questions you might wanna ask or an activity you might wanna do through the week with your child. And then it's usually a parent Q article, um, something for you to read and to help you with a uh, parenting issue or a discipleship issue with your kids. And then let's one more thing under elementary is the prayer journal. Uh, parents, we've posted our two prayer journals that we use with the kids. One is right here, the K through first that you can download. Um, this just follows a simple pray. We use the word pray um, to help us outline how we're going to pray with God. Um, so first we praise God, we thank God, we repent. So we ask God for forgiveness. Then we ask God for help. And that these for your K1 have big blocks. Um, we know sometimes that you know words come harder for them. So they have, feel free to download this and just let them color a picture. God knows what's in their heart and knows what their requests are. If they just color a picture, he he's got this, he knows this. And then we have one out here for our second through fifth graders. Um, and this one really more outlines the, the pray, um, where we praise, I said repent before, but it's redo, ask God for forgiveness, um, ask God to help us and help others, and then to yield. Um, here again, um, just a, another resource to help you help your kids to pray to God on a daily basis. All right. So let me go back out to our South Point for You kids. I mean, South Point for You slash parents page. So that is the high level overview of our South Point for You slash parents page. Um, we can go here and click on the weekly videos that we're providing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can also find that by going to um, southpointforyou.com slash kids. Here, parents, you will find the videos that we are posting weekly for your kids. Um, these would be the same videos that we would be showing if we were meeting in person. So what we have done here is um, always at the top, 
will be the latest videos for the week. And we have broken our videos out into um, a couple of what we're calling experiences for your kids. If you look here, you'll see a full Sunday experience. Our elementary videos will always have an orange background and our preschool videos will always have a blue background. And if you look at the full Sunday experience, what that is, is that's going to include um, a worship song for your kids. For elementary, it includes both the so-and-so show and the Bible story. For um, our preschool friends, it also includes the memory verse motions. So it's a longer experience. Um, generally for um, our elementary kids, it runs about 30 minutes. And for our um, pre-K kids, it's probably closer to 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and then we break those out. So then um, for our elementary kids, we break it out so it's a Bible story experience and a so-and-so show experience. Um, and the difference with these two experiences is they only have Mr. Joe's, my intro, and the actual Bible message that we're doing that day. So we do not have any worship music in there um, for them. Um, this Bible story is designed for our kindergartners through third grade. And the so-and-so show experience is um, designed for our preteens, our fourth and fifth graders. But seriously, parents, um, we find it value for the kids to watch both. The um, younger kids love the so-and-so show just as much as the older kids because it's, it's funny. It's designed as a YouTube type video experience for kids. Um, so we find that the kids like to watch both. And the same thing down here with the um, pre-K. The full Sunday experience, like I said, includes Miss um, Bree's intro, it'll include a worship song and the memory verse motion, as well as the Bible story, where the Bible story experience is just going to include Miss Bree's intro and the Bible story itself. If we scroll on down here on our page, then you'll find videos, if I can get it to scroll for me. Um, there we go, past playlists. So what we are going to um, have out here is um, things that have were shown previously. So you'll find about two months worth of videos out here at any given time. Um, so you can scroll down or have your kids can scroll down and find one that interests them and watch it or rewatch it at any time. So let's stop sharing here. So um, friends, I hope you found that um, a little bit informative. Um, Cause like I said, it is our goal here at South Point to partner with you um, and to provide you the resources that you need on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to help you with your spiritual growth as a parent and help you help your kids grow spiritually. So if there's something you need, please reach out to one of us on the staff. Um, we'd be glad to do our best to try to accommodate whatever you need. Um, so friends, I hope you're having a safe and wonderful summer and I can't wait until we can meet again. Um, so God bless and have a great week, friends.